All right, going to do a real quick video here for the Catholic viewers on this channel. I know that there are some. Um, just proving to you that your Catholic Church is false. It's not the church that Jesus Christ founded. Well, we're going to look about that here real quickly. Acts chapter 4, verse 12 in the New American Bible. You thought I was going to say King James Bible. Nope, I'm going to read it out of yours. Acts chapter 4, verse 12. The words of St. Peter. There is no salvation in anyone else, for there is no other name in the, whole, in the whole world given to men by which we are to be saved. Right? That's the St. Joseph edition New American Bible. Certainly approved by the Catholic Church. Uh, now we're going to look up in the Reims 1582. Acts chapter... So he's got a lot of notes in it. Acts chapter 4, verse 12. For there is not salvation in any other, for neither is there any other name under heaven given to men, wherein we must be saved. Okay? Now, I'm not going to get into a whole lot of proof and a whole lot of showing documents and things like that, because you yourself will know this. The Pope has been coming out, and Pope's going back you know, after Vatican II, basically, they started the ecumenical movement. And they're telling Muslims, they're telling Jews, you know, that have rejected Jesus Christ. They're telling, you know, Hindus and, you know, all the different Buddhists and whatever else, all these different people, that they all are praying to the same God, that they all have their own path to heaven. Okay, um, that's not what Peter preached. And in fact, if you look up in the Catechism... I'm, again, I'm not going to show you this. You know this. Uh, the Catechism says that there's only one true church. But yet the Pope is coming out. He's even said atheists. If they're good, very good atheists, that they'll go to heaven. Now, um, how does that work? You see, the Bible teaches, any Bible teaches, that uh, Jesus Christ, when he talks to Peter, he says, Thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, essentially. Again, you can look it up. You know that. Again, I'm not teaching you anything that you don't already know. He says that he would build his church and the gates of hell will not, you know, um, let's go to the, I wanna, I'm trying to think of how the Catholic one goes. Let's go there. Uh, Matthew chapter 16. The gates of hell will not prevail against it, but I want to get the, you know, Catholic reading here. Uh, verse 18, Matthew chapter 16, verse 18. I, for my part, declare to you, you are rock, and on this rock I will build my church, and the jaws of death shall not prevail against it. Jaws of death. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gates of hell. But, you know, I guess the jaws of death, whatever that is, you know. What, what is it? If you're a Catholic, please write in the comments, what, is, what are the jaws of death? Okay, like, oh, I, I remember that. Okay, I'm sorry. I remember now. It was that movie with the big fish, you know, the shark. And he's, is that the jaws of death that you're talking about? But, uh, you know, the fact of the matter is the church that Jesus Christ founded, the gates of hell would not prevail against it. Well, the gates of hell certainly have prevailed against the Roman Catholic Church. You say, well, that's just the modern church. The pre, we are pre-Vatican II Catholics. Uh, yeah, but Jesus said the church wouldn't fail. Okay. The church is going to remain constant. And St. Peter preached and said that Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. What do you do with that? You better think about that. You see, Roman Catholicism is not the true church. Why? They've fallen away. They've gotten messed up. The true church is not. You say, what is it? Are you saying the Baptists are the true church? Some Protestant denomination? Oh, no, no. No, the true church is one defined in Scripture. And I believe in the King James Bible. I don't believe in these satanic ones that come from the Vatican. Okay? From the Alexandrian Egypt, you know, manuscripts. The Alexandrian text type. Which is less than 1% of the extant uh, Greek manuscripts. Alright? Another whole issue there. But the whole point is, uh, I go and I just read the Bible. I'm a Bible-believing Christian. So I was, I was raised in the Protestant system. Sure, absolutely. But I've rejected most of the Protestant system. Protestantism, 
for the most part, is just trying to reform the Catholic Church. You know, I reject Protestantism. I do protest things, abuses of Rome, but I'm not going to seek to reform the Roman Catholic system. I just stick by the Bible. See? And my Bible says that Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. Spoken by Peter in Acts chapter 4, verse 12. So any system, be it Catholic or Protestant, that says that Muslims are saved, or that modern-day Jews that have rejected Jesus Christ as their Messiah, that they're saved, I reject them. That's not of the Lord. Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven, and the Bible is the only authority that we should have. And you know, if you're a Roman Catholic, you know that your divine tradition will usurp the Holy Word of God. You believe that it continues. The revelations of God Almighty continue through the line, the apostolic succession of the church. And yet you have the apostle today, the greatest apostle, Pope Francis, and he denies the teachings of St. Peter. You're not in the true church. You're in a false church. Okay? And you can debate the things back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But if you truly believe that Jesus Christ is God, like Roman Catholicism claims to believe, then you cannot there sit there in good conscience and say, I agree with the Pope today that other people can also make it to heaven, rejecting Jesus Christ. If you're honest, you have to admit, yeah, I can't stand with this Pope. And then logically it follows, if you can't stand with the Pope, then the gates of hell have prevailed against the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church is currently run by a man that worships Lucifer. He's not a Christian. And you know it. That's all I'm advocating here, folks. I'm not trying to get you to join the Independent Fundamental Baptists. Please don't. I'm not trying to get you to join the Presbyterians or the Methodists or the Lutherans. or the. Don't do that. Just get a King James Bible and read it. Have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. A personal relationship which the Pope has decried as being harmful and dangerous. And many leaders in Protestantism do the same thing. They want to control you. Now the Bible teaches that there is only one mediator between man and God, and that is the man Christ Jesus. You don't need to go to a Pope. You don't need to go to a priest or a bishop or a nun or a monk or a whatever. Or some PhD doctor, smarty pants, preacher in a Protestant church. You don't need to go to them. You go to Jesus Christ and have a personal relationship with Him. He died on the cross to pay for your sins, not a corporate church. And you join the church and that's how the blood comes upon you and otherwise you can't have the blood. You do something wrong and they say, we excommunicate you, heretic. You go, oh no, I've been cut off from the blood of Christ. No, 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 no. I mean, think about that. The all-powerful creator of God in heaven, and he has to have you stuck in some religious system someplace so that you can have grace dispensed to you. And you leave that religious system. You're out driving around someplace in a back road, back country area. You're out on a camping trip, and you wreck your car, and you go down off the ditch, and you're laying there upside down, and, and you're bleeding to death. I'm sorry. God's grace isn't available to you there because, you see, you're not in, in church. Oh, but I'm a faithful Catholic. Okay, then if you're a faithful Catholic, you shouldn't have to burn too long in purgatory. As long as you have family members that can help, you know, say masses and stuff like this and have masses said for you so that you can, you know, get out quicker. The God of heaven gave us a book as our guide. We shouldn't mess with churches of any kind, Protestant, Catholic, whatever. We shouldn't mess with them. We should come to the Lord and have a personal relationship. That's what this ministry is all about. Getting you to realize that you can have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. You can come to Him and Him alone for salvation. Not me. I don't want to be your Pope. I don't want to be your priest. I'm merely a teacher of the Bible. Come to Jesus Christ today. Watch our salvation message. It'll take you through the pages of Scripture. Not my opinions, not my catechism, not our you know, creed or something like this. Through the pages of Scripture. Catholicism is a false religion. Get out of it.